Hi everyone, it's Lauren. This is my mum Jackie and my nan Maureen and this is Go Ask Your Mother. You, you were a PA, weren't you, Nanny? No, you weren't a PA, no. you were a receptionist. Yeah, well, it, in the end, yes, oh, but okay. before that I did all various jobs. Yes, I've worked in offices and um, I've also worked in a bookshop. Did you? I did, worked in a bookshop in Poplar Commercial Road. You worked in a bookshop? I didn't Work, know that. Yeah, yes, yes, I quite like that. Quite near where you live now, really. Yeah, it is in Not the commercial far. road, yeah. Um, and then I've worked in factories to get extra money. And also, um, when you have the children, you feel guilty because you're the woman, you should yeah. be there looking after your children. But do you think Granddad felt guilty about not being there? He didn't want me to work, especially when I had children. He didn't want, Granddad didn't want you to work? No, Ooh. no, no, no. And um, obviously without him, not, once my children were at school, I just got this machining job that yeah. I could just work hours that they were school in school, hours, yeah. school hours. And then I told him that I, he wasn't very happy about it. It was only a bit of pin money to help me to buy a few clothes for the children. But uh, so it worked out all right. So Granddad didn't feel like he was missing out um, on raising... No, because I think in those days the man did feel as though he should be the one earning the money, bringing bringing home the money and that the woman should be at home. Was it unusual for you to be working at all? Or was your generation like the first generation where even though you had kids and you were married, you were still work, you still started working? Yes, um, in the past, well, from, I can only go from my family. Um, if women did anything, they would go and do a bit of cleaning for somebody else or do a bit of washing, hand washing, that kind of thing. But to, to do a... That's it. Yes, yes, just something that would work out all right for them to do their own housework and look after the children. When I was first married, and about one of the first times that we went back to see my mum, because we used to have to visit them living in Norfolk, and um, she said, she took me aside and said, are you looking after him properly? And were you? I was. <laughs> 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 Even though I was working full time myself. <laughs> Did Grandad expect you to look after him though? Or is it more well, your mum saying you need to look up like Well no, I think it was sort of half expected. The yeah. man did really expect you to well, what about yeah. that time when we went on holiday to Willowcombe and we watched the England game? <laughs> Yes, I was still, yes. There was, all, there was yeah. a group of us, and we, we watched the England game in the lounge downstairs. They put a telly in the lounge especially, because we didn't have tellies in all your bedrooms and that then, to watch this live England match. We were all sitting there watching it, and they and brought they the dinner down yes. to the room instead of having it in the dining room. So we wanted to go and get our dinner off the table, and Nan went and got, before she got her own, she went and got Grandad's, you've heard this story yes, before, I have. and trotted over to the room, to, and he was watching the telly like this, and she just put his dinner down in front of him, and he just went... <laughs> All right, it's dinner. And, and then she I... trotted back and got her own. <laughs> That's, yes. You know. But you knew what yes. he wanted as well. He didn't even have to be like, oh, I want yes. potatoes and this. You're oh. like, I know what he wants. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, so I was looking after him properly, <laughs> even then. Well, the men used to always get served first in Norfolk. I know. Oh, yes. Oh, they still yeah. do now. When they we still go do up. now, yeah. 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 We'll get so much food when we go up there. It's always like, oh, Will, would you like this? I mean, he's quite skinny, isn't he? But like, <laughs> have some, have some yeah, it's not going to last long unless we <laughs> clean him up. <laughs> oh, Will gets first dibs everywhere, and Dad, actually. Yeah, yeah that's why Granddad used to like that's going That's why to... Dad likes oh, going up there. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, they get looked after properly. Yeah. When you, when we, when you had me and Sam, yeah. you were still working, but not straight away, though. No, I stayed at home. Yeah. Until Sam was about three or four. When I went back to work, I did have, I had um, somebody to do the ironing and the cleaning. Yeah. I tried to do it like that. But it is still a lot of work when you're working full time and you've got the children going to school, which is quite, it's kind of harder when the children are older than when they're babies, really. Yeah. Because they've got their lives by then and they've got to go to school and come back from school and after school clubs and all of that sort of thing. But... You feel like you're the one who's got to organise everything. Mm, yeah. So That's I would be all the making, making sure all the washing was done at the weekend, ready for someone to come and iron it. I would be the one about thinking about what's going to be for dinner, how are we going to cook the dinner, who's going to do the shop, when we're going to do the shopping, clean all the house up. So yeah. 
What was Dad doing? Um, probably got away with it by saying he was decorating the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Which took about 18 months, I remember, one time. Yeah, did. So um, he would probably be saying, well, I suppose he would cut the grass. I don't know. <laughs> I suppose he would cut the grass. But he did <laughs> he would do, else. like, all the DIY, I guess. No, he did just to do... He, he used, used to, to help a bit. Lot, because I used to say, oh, he's good, isn't he? And then <laughs> Mum got fed up with me saying that one time. She said, but so am I. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I said, I know you are, but you see... Yes, I suppose I took it for granted that you were being good. Yes, yeah, see, look, you inherited it from your mum. You oh, started well, praising Dad no, for just, like, lifting you, you your finger. Just, for just living, I think. He's <laughs> <laughs> breathing. Oh, he's he good, isn't he? He's very good, he's breathing. Yeah. He's married my daughter. What more do you want? <laughs> you just can't um, wipe out how you were brought up. Yeah. That's all there. All still in you. Well, it is you just see? in your subconscious, isn't yes, it? Yes, how you think that's the problem. Because I look after the house more than Will does, but just, just like in the back of my head, because I'm just thinking, oh, I want it. But also because I, r- I want it nice. Yeah, that's right. Well, he does things, obviously, he cleans up yeah. and that, but I do feel like I'm sort of driving it. Yeah, we're well, just in the back of my head. Yeah, yeah, the responsibility yeah. of it. Yeah. Yeah, but I do like the house, I like it neat and tidy and clean. But I don't know when they come in and, and they mess it all up. I see where the opposite. Will keeps telling me to tidy up. All right. <laughs> but also with you, Will up until now has been doing working on hours yeah, yeah. and doing his exams. So that's been since you've been living together. That's been how it's been mm. really. Yeah. So you need to retrain him now that he's finished his exam. Now he's yeah. got a bit more time. Yeah. Oh. And this this weekend, like on Friday, he was like, I was thinking I might make breakfast on Saturday. I was like, oh, oh. will you? I was oh. like, good. Did you? Yeah. Oh, good. But nice. he's just like, I'm going to make a nice breakfast. I was like, it's just bre- I made dinner last night. Now yeah, you're yeah. making breakfast. It's not like a big yeah, yeah, song yeah. and dance over you making breakfast. It becomes, it it becomes a big thing that, that, you know, oh, praise me because I'm making one meal. <laughs> you do have to be careful, I think, to not, not stay in that rut in a way. When I say retrain him, I'm only half joking. <laughs> no, but it's about knowing who's doing what and like sharing the responsibility for yeah, it, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. I mean, we don't have children yet, and I don't know what will happen, obviously, in our lives, but we've already discussed that our ideal situation would be for both of us to work four days a week mm. and each take a day. If you can get and a then, job like that. That yeah, but you thing. should be able to do that. You These should. days, you should, technically, yeah. if anyone asks for flexible working, they should give it to you. Yeah, that is the law, but the companies can get round things, I as know. you know. Well, that's that's why we're sort of thinking that would be the that would be yeah. the dream. But oh, we yeah, don't yeah. Do that. yeah, yeah, yeah. When I gave up work when I had you two, it was quite hard, very, very hard, in fact, to find a part-time job that was... Oh, it was. Uh, good, it was yeah. only, like, not very good jobs that you could do part-time. Yeah, like Nan was doing her machining just yeah. for a couple of hours. It wasn't as bad as just machining, that's, but... Ah, but that was when they were both back at school. Yeah. And before before that, I took time off um, from when I had mum. And uh, for quite a few years, and it, you know, it's hard to manage on the one wage. Yeah. And um, I tried certain things at home. But it's very, very, you know, to try and do something to earn a little bit of money, but it's very, very difficult. To, it was hard to... Do anything. To, to do. Nowadays, people can work at home, can't they? A yeah, lot. Yeah, that's well, true. You in see. theory, they can, but that, that doesn't that, always work no, either. I don't no. think they've been saying that since I was at work, and yeah, I yeah. don't think it happens as much as it could do. Mm. Lots of people in my office work from home oh, one they? or two days a week oh, now. Good. Yeah. When, yeah. when I gave up work, I couldn't go back to the job I'd been doing part time. No way. And they phoned me up and said, I said I was going to go back, and then they phoned me up and said, he and I said, yeah, I'd like how many days. And I said I'd like to do two, and they wouldn't let me do it. Two, two is quite low. <laughs> two is pushing but, it a little bit. No, I think I did. Two, I can't remember now if I did three, but but even that sort of job, you couldn't do it. They couldn't arrange it for you. I could have done something. Yeah. Doing the sort of thing I I used to do. But they didn't want to sort it out for you, basically, no. did they? Yeah. It's silly, I think, from a company's point of view, because you've got all that experience. Yeah. You've got someone who knows what they're doing, and if you think they're quite good, then why wouldn't you just? You, you must have loads of work. They did have loads of work. I agree, actually. We had um, a situation in my old job where someone was doing three days a week, like normal, because you'd had a baby. And I remember speaking to someone, they were going, oh, three days isn't that, you know, that's not very much time that you're in the office for three days. And I was like, yeah, okay, I, I do sort of understand, but actually, 
She's not going to do that forever though. That's the whole point. She's, not gonna do it she's just had a baby. Yeah. So the point is, you've got all that experience up until that point. Yeah. She works three days for a few years, and then probably when they get older, she'll work more again. Yeah. Like, and so you it's don't not... lose all, lose her. Exactly. Then, exactly. Yeah. When you're working part time, you get about ninety percent of a full yeah. full time job done. I tell you so what. When I was working like three days or whatever, I get most of that job done in the three days. And do you know what? This is what I think about four days a week. I think four days a week is actually like the best. Um, deal for the company because most people are going to do a full week yeah. four you'll days still get the job done because who's going to pass something over for one day you're not yeah. you're just going to do it yourself you're not going to say oh Steve no. can you do this for me you'll, no. just, you'll just do it yeah. we'll do it when you get back in the office yeah. so I think they get to pay you less yeah. and you actually get most of the work done I definitely actually. think that see yeah. what I'm getting from this is from going back to what we were saying about when uh, a couple gets married yeah. that the the woman gives up work. Now, because mostly the woman goes to work, whether she's married, got family, whatever, it brings all of these other complications into it because the woman definitely gets torn as to want to be with the children and looking after the children and going to work as well. So that brings a lot more complications into the different complications into the woman's life. I Do you see what I mean? That's what I'm seeing yeah. from, from listening to the to you talking about work. I think there's and two different sides of it though. Because I think in your day, it was just oh, but the man does the work and the woman looks after the house. Yes. And that was, was oh, yes. really expected. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what you felt you had to do. And these days, I think, yeah, women want to go to work more. But I think also more men would like to be with their families and are realising they that do. they're missing out they do. I on think, their children. Yes. And equally, a lot of employers, actually, if a woman has a baby and says, I want to work three or four days, the employers go, yeah, all right. But if a man was like, oh, I want to work three days, they'd be like, why? Do. No. Wally. Yeah. No. And there's been things in like my old industry where there's lots of socialising, like work drinks in the evening, and they've said things like, maybe we shouldn't do evening drinks because it's not fair on the women who have to go home and look after their babies. And it's kind of like, but why aren't all these men who have children, what, they're, they're all here. Yeah, why aren't they, why going, aren't home? they going home? Even if, even if their wife is at home the full time yeah. looking after the children, they certainly need a break by the evening. Exactly, but don't they want to anyway? Yeah, but a lot yeah, of men do want to anyway. Also, yeah. also what we were saying, most of the men in like my day did man, more manual work. Yeah. There were more people doing, men doing manual work. Perhaps the women couldn't yeah. do, you know, that yeah. it's too heavy work. That's true, yeah. We're putting the world to rights, aren't we, today? Oh, my God, we're getting it all the way yeah. through. <laughs> I, on that note, can I ask Dad to start doing the dinner? Oh, my God, do you want to try? <laughs> oh, he will, if I ask him. Yeah, go on. I've got to go and do it. <laughs> But you, but you do have to ask him. He won't oh. just automatically do the dinner. You've got to well, ask him. Doing it. I'll tell you when I come back. And okay. start doing it Report back. We might, we might be surprised. <laughs> <laughs>